Hi YouTube, I thought I would just try to make this a short video on how I studied for my level 2 CE. So it's the DO board exam, kind of like the step 2 for the allopathic students, um, other than it has the OMM on it. And this is my 8 hour computer based multiple choice test with 400 questions. And so I'll explain to you how I study. Let's see, it all kind of starts off anyways in third year after you take level one. Um, then you begin your third year and you have all these rotations and it is really helpful if you go home and study what your physicians maybe ask you to go home and study or look up even if they don't ask you to. It's always good to get in the habit of any questions you had or we had a DKA patient today, I'm going to read up more on that, maybe why we did that. Um, very helpful. But for all our required rotations, we have an end of rotation exam we do through our school and most of those were COMATS, which is a standardized exam. It's kind of like the shelf exams for the allopathic students. And so I think those were actually helpful to prep for boards because they had the same interface. It's two or a 100 question test taken two hours and I just kind of prepped for those along with, you know, reading for my rotation. And I did that by starting off my rotation kind of with a study schedule. I wanted to make sure to cover what I needed to recover, needed to cover in all of my rotations. And I had purchased a subscription to ComBank Level 2, which is a uh, question bank. And so for ob guide, I went through all the OB and then all the guide questions. And I had kind of a study guide of things, different topics I wanted to cover every day. And same with internal med. Um, for that one, though, there's not like an internal med button that you can click on ComBank. But instead, I would study cardio for two days, and then I would take a 50-question cardio test and review those answers and renal and palm, etc. So I think studying for boards, for me at least, started all throughout third year. And I wasn't like boards, I'm just studying this for the boards. No, I was studying it for the patients I was taking care of. I was, I was studying for the end of rotation exam, and then it happened. To, I just lucked out, and it's kind of studying for boards as well. Anyways, that's what I did for all my rotations. We both chose to take the test on June 29th, and we knew we wanted to do doctors in training. That's what we used for level one, and we both loved it and felt it really had something to do with our, our scores, which we were very happy with. And all in all, we just kind of enjoyed it. It made board studying actually somewhat enjoyable. And so we went with it. And they have a 45-day subscription to their videos, so we just kind of counted back from June 29th, about seven weeks, and that's when we were going to start our kind of more intensive board studying. And so we purchased the step up to step two, so I took it apart, but there's the book title. So we got that, and unfortunately, like, we started studying in May, and I think the book came out, I think it got mailed to us, like, end of May, so we couldn't read through it one time or anything. Um, so we just kind of read it along with the videos. And with the videos, I have my little schedule here. As you can see, in the very beginning, the first five weeks of the seven, we took it kind of easy. We both still had rotations. He was on pediatrics for his first four weeks of board studying. I had two weeks of pathology, then two weeks of radiology. And then we had a week of comprehensive, it's called comprehensive week. We all go back to our school, all of us third years, and we have a few days of testing out. We had written exam for OMM, OMM practical, our standardized patient kind of to help us get ready for Philadelphia PE exam, and then a simulation, and then some other lectures to help us get ready for fourth year and to help us prepare for getting ready for applications for residency. And so we studied those days as well, um, but not really intensive. Here, you have to go through my crossing out because I obviously have completed that. So that's week one, Monday's the first day. Um, DIT had 166 videos and so um, they're about 20 minutes long so they're really not bad. I know it was like very intimidating to hear that number, but it really, it really wasn't bad. So your scenario one, two, and three, again, they're anywhere from like 10 to 25 minutes or 30 minutes. Took a 50 question exam every other day. Uh, at this point, we had purchased ComQuest to help us prep for boards since we had already made it pretty much through ComBank. And then we read Savarese the four weeks of our last rotation leading up to our comp week since we knew we had to take the OMM Comat. And I felt that really prepared us for that exam. So anyways, I have that for the four weeks, actually five weeks, pretty much a similar schedule. Then for week six and seven, leading up to the exams, the last two weeks, um, we continued our videos and we kept chugging along, but we watched maybe anywhere between seven and ten videos a day. 
And so those are those. And then we took a 50 question test every day for those last two weeks to kind of get us a little bit more used to taking more and more questions. And we both were on rotation for these last two weeks. I chose, we both chose to do pathology. He enjoyed his pathology rotation and knew the docs and also knew that their schedule was pretty light. He's usually at work from like eight to 12, 12.30, one. And I chose to do pathology and I'm away, which is helpful um, for me to study. I, I do better when I'm on my own, I don't have distractions. He's staying at home and where we live, uh, there's a little 19 month old and he's super cute and I love hanging out with him. And I, I know I'd have a lot harder self-control to sit down and study. So I am in a different town living, actually in the nursing home, that's where they put up their students. It's a really nice area and go to the coffee shop and study. I'd study here some days. Uh, so that was really helpful. Same, my schedule is pretty much eight to noon or eight to two a lot of the days. And so. That's what we've done for the last two weeks and then the la that was ending on like a Monday or Tuesday through our schedule and then review days for the last few and then we plan on taking tomorrow Friday off and then our exams on Saturday. So that is how we studied. Um, I also should mention we took a COMSA-C so that's the MBOME's version of kind of like a practice exam for COMLEX 2 and we took that at the end of our fourth week of studying, so the end of our third year, kind of right before our comprehensive week we all, when we all went back. It is also part of our comprehensive week. Everybody has to pass it in order to go on to third year. And we passed. I can say we both passed with flying colors. I think we actually both scored better than we did on level one, and we were very happy with our level one score. And we still had a majority of our studying left to do. So that was kind of a confidence booster, um, but obviously, I, kept at it and kept studying to get through everything. So I'll show you guys. These are what I use for OMM studying. I went through Savarese, so I believe I said the first four weeks of board studying. So, but I, then after that, I've just been using my little sheets I made for level one. I don't know what are on these, but just my notes that I took from Savarese and then I can review them and review them and review them. So um, I think I showed you guys this talked about DIT so here are here's what DIT looks like if anyone's interested in using that program they send you out their study guide Gosh, this is all kind of messed up now um, but I have them all in my books I we went to office max and had them through hole punched and the binders taken off so I put together so here's the neuro chapter from step up I just had all of them separated kind of neurology section and then I had I don't know where the first page of this is, but I'll give you guys kind of an example, here it is, of what a DIT lecture looks like. It's about a 20 minute video and they start off with a three question warm up that can be on anything that you've gone over up until that point. So it really can be on anything. Obviously the first few lectures there's not much it can be on, but then by your last lecture it can be on anything that they've gone over. Then they have kind of their own notes and fill in the blanks that you fill out throughout as you're going through step two, or yep, step up to step two. And then also they have an end of session quiz that goes over the material that you just went over. So there's 166 of those. I thought it was very helpful. And they have kind of a goofy skit at the end of most of them, which makes it a little bit more enjoyable, makes you laugh. And yeah, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, we take our exam on Saturday and I'll let you know how I think it went.